This is not financial advice, not legal advice for entertainment educational purposes only, and anything I say is my opinion. Please don't make any financial decision based on anything I say in these videos. That being said, hit the like button, subscribe button, all that YouTube algorithm stuff so you get the videos I put them out. See what I'm thinking, see I'm analyzing that data, but like I tell every day, the data they release us is false, and then it gives a false narrative of the market so we can make bad trading decisions. Listen, AMC release the votes or the vote count regarding getting rid of the AMC board. And I want y'all to listen to these numbers. They said there was 54,000 yes votes, 6,000 no votes, and 800,000 absenting or they just didn't vote at all. They just didn't vote at all. Now here's the thing. If we look at these numbers, what AMC is trying to say that there's only 860,000 AMC shareholders are they saying that the float is only 860,000 because that's what it seems to me if there was only 54,000 yes votes 6,000 no votes but 800,000 people that didn't vote that means that's all the shares that are available that is absolute nonsense these numbers don't make any sense at all okay amc is so full of fraud and shenanigans that they put out numbers that make no logical sense whatsoever and nobody says a word. The SEC doesn't say a word. The DTCC doesn't say a word. The DOJ doesn't say a word. FBI doesn't say a word. How can there only be a total of 860,000 votes when we're supposed to have, what, 3.8 million shareholders? Is AMC deliberately not sending out the proxies to the shareholders because they are afraid that the real share count might come out? But even, even with that, how can they put out numbers saying that the total votes with the non-votes was only 860,000? It makes absolutely no sense mathematically. There are a whole bunch of non-votes that, that aren't being counted in, in, in these numbers. Okay, if you look at these numbers, AMC is stating that there's only 860,000 AMC shares, which we all know is absolute nonsense. Okay, it's absolute nonsense. If you have 500 shares, you're entitled to 500 votes. If you have 1,000 shares, you're, enti you're entitled to 1,000 votes. So how could there only be 860,000 votes that's being counted? We need a forensic account to go through AMC books because everything about AMC play right now sounds for gazy to me. The numbers are for gazy to me. DOJ, FBI, please step in and pull AMC books. They are robbing retail investors. They're robbing international investors. And they are a threat to our national security. Anyway, please leave some comments. Tell me what you think. Do you think the total vote was 860,000 or should it be millions more because of the amount of AMC investors that we have and the amount of shares that are outstanding. Anyway, have a great day. God bless and I appreciate y'all on this journey with me.